Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Team Titan. This is a new segment called Spaces by Titan and I've actually recently finished renovating my new tuition centre. Today, I'm just going to show you a little tour of what it looks like. Let's go! So the name of this tuition centre is called Puzzles and I chose this name simply because you know when we're playing with puzzles, we use a lot of our logical faculties and we also enjoy ourselves. These are the experiences that I would want students to have. So after designing the logo, we actually really like the arc shape so much that I've asked the ID to incorporate it into how the place looks and I think he has done a really good job with it. If you see here, we have three different study pots. The study pots also resemble that arc shape. They are really very colourful, so we have the blue, yellow and the pink to give that sort of vibrant vibes to it. Why we created these study pots is because when for the past year, I've been having online classes and when you see uh, students online, you start to see that some of them, they don't really have very conducive environments at home to study in. So this is really created for them. The colours were actually done by Raffles Paint and if you see the tables, they're also very smooth. These are laminates from Panel Plus. They're also carpentry, so they were customised specifically for this shape and length and the customization was done by uh, Design for Space. I wanted to try and make this whole place look a bit homelier, so I've all brought all these elements. I hope they will soften the look. And these really cute cushions to hug on. So when, when I'm studying myself, right, when, when I'm working, I'm, I'm someone who really needs to squeeze on stress balls. So these things are here for, for the students also, if they're like me. This one is my favourite part. I like the blue colour, so I've already been having some online classes uh, in the centre. And I've always been sitting here because blue, very calming, very nice, very nice vibe. Here we have this. It's kind of like a resting corner for students like if they are waiting for their class to start they don't want to be so serious they don't want to be doing work they're welcome to just sit here so i actually brought all of these from home nigel uh, my partner he's so happy because finally our bed has so much free space and i don't have all these jelly cats debbie gave this to me she also embroidered my name onto the jumper so it's super cute and this one was given to me by Kersing, who is also my social media manager at Titan Digital Media. And I like them so much, right? I haven't even dared to cut off the text yet. Because it's so precious, I don't want to damage them. And the last one, this is my very first jelly cat. I bought this for myself the day that uh, Nigel proposed to me. The furniture here, this is actually from the Furniture Boutique. And also the flooring, I am not sure if you noticed this, but this is from Evolve SG. Really love the pattern, like the herringbone uh, geometrical pattern here that we have here. I also have a mini reset table here. So when we are building this reset, right, we built it deliberately low because we wanted visibility from outside in. So Nigel and I, we, we travel a lot and when we travel, we like to buy like these little, uh, li little gadgets. Uh. And we always leave them at home, we never know what we're going to do with them, so they finally come in useful. We also have a light strip at the front of the reception. We installed this so that it looks uh, more vibrant. We can light up the whole area because this is the first thing that uh, someone will see when they walk right in. That's about it. So these are the doors leading into the classroom. What we uh, These doors are from AG doors and we also have the frosted glass so that students will not get distracted. Now, let me show you my favourite part of this place. It's here! I actually built a mini pantry corner. I built it with students in mind because actually when I was still a JC student, right, I went for this uh, tuition and then my tutor gave me this packet of Ribena and I always remember it. I was just very touched when she gave it to me. So I always told myself that when and if I ever create my own school, I'm going to stock a pantry full of snacks for my students. However, this is the middle of the pandemic, so unfortunately, y'all cannot eat here. But what you can do is you can take the snacks and bring it home with you. La. No eating here, okay? We also have this sink here so that they are able to wash their hands. And talking about the sink, right, I also want to mention a little bit about the flooring, the herringbone pattern flooring. These are uh, vinyl flooring from Evolve SG and what we really like about them, they are water resistant. So even though there might be a bit of backsplash, it's totally okay, we can easily wipe them up. Honestly, I don't even know what is this, but we cannot conceal it. So what I've done is I put a few books here just to hide it. Also, all the chairs over here, I bought them online myself. And I just realised as I'm talking to you, I did not remove the styrofoam piece from this. I'm going to tear it off later. These are very cute smiley coasters. I have a habit of using coasters at home just to prevent water stains. And this little container to keep my like, pencils, markers. Currently it's empty, but... I'll bring the pencils in soon. So we have these carpentry cabinets for us to store things. And the, the doors, right, they're actually anti-slam. So you see, they will not uh, slam shut on their own. And you see this side, it's very flat. 
essentially cannot put anything at all. But this is because there is a panel behind. I'm not sure if you can see it. But there is a big block which came with the unit, so nothing that we can do about it. So the entire whiteboard is also a laminate, also from Panaplast. And all of the carpentry uh, cabinets also laminated with uh, the laminates from Panel Plus as well. Lastly, and this is actually the most exciting part of the classroom, we have the lights. So all of our lighting solutions at Puzzles are actually from Vlux. And Vlux has so many different lighting solutions. When we went down that day, it was just so difficult for me to pick what exactly I wanted. In the end, I went with this LED strip on top of the whiteboard. For a very specific reason, we can actually change the colour of this light. Now let me show you how it works. So the light here can actually be controlled via my mobile phone. I'm going to do a demo for you now, but I need someone to help me turn off the light, please. Okay, so basically I can control the colour of the light here. It's so cool. And there's also a function, right, where when I turn on the mic, it will pick up the sound of my voice and then the light will change according to the beat. It's super cool. Can you imagine teaching math to this? It's like math this cool. <laughs> it will be so cool. One plus one equals two, then the light will change. So, not many people know this, but actually after I graduated from university, I had two different 9-to-5 jobs. But even as I was working, I always knew that what I wanted out of my career was something that would allow me to make a difference or have a direct impact. And I felt that there was no other industry that allowed me to do this other than education and tuition. So, actually for a very, very long while, I have been considering opening my own uh, tuition centre. But... I just never really had the guts to go for it and it was only during the circuit breaker when I, basically I was just thrown out of that, that pattern of working 9 to 5 every single day and suddenly I had these free pockets of time that I could use to actually meet with students. So what happened was I would end work at maybe 7 to 8 and immediately I will just open my own laptop and log on to a virtual classroom because all teaching was virtual then. Over time, uh, my Students actually grew by quite a bit, mostly through word of mouth. And it got to the point that every single available pocket of time that I had was taken up. I was either in a class, I was in a consultation, or I was doing pre-class work. Because there's a lot of pre-class work that needs to be done. For example, like notes, relearning, coming up with tips for my own students. And behind all of this is, is actually a very real fear because I was I just got a promotion, I just got a pay raise and we are, after all, in the middle of a pandemic so am I really going to walk away from all of that security into this unknown? The answer is yes, at the end of the day after I have made this decision I feel very at peace with it and I feel that there is really no better time for me to take this risk I should not wait any longer because you know, a few years down the road, let's say if I were to start my own family I wouldn't want to be running a centre, like starting a centre at the same time So. Fingers crossed, I hope that in a couple of years we will be already looking at having new locations, new units, maybe island-wide. So it's going to be a really exciting year ahead and I'm so happy that you're on this journey with me. Thank you to all of the sponsors for making this possible. Thank you to Design for Space as well. So if you want to see a more detailed walkthrough, you want to see the before and the after, we have actually documented this in a video. It's linked in the description down below. And this is actually our new series. It's called Total Revamp. We'll also edit here so you can watch it here. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like the space as much as I do. Remember to subscribe and also watch the series Total Revamp over here. Bye-bye!